Uh, all right, so this week on... Uh, no, wait, Mike. Oh, my, what? You, you said go. keep right it there. down. Oh, right, 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 right. Where? where, where? Oh, there. Okay, right, right here. Okay, go. Okay. This week uh, on Creative Loafing... Uh, okay, we're going to start one more time here. You ready? Jordan, start that over. I don't want my time gone. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, this week in the movie section, we have uh, Anthony Salvegi is reviewing the movie Sanctum, which is the James Cameron-produced 3D movie about cave divers. Uh, Sal says that it's terrible, uh, and uh, we're now calling it Scrotum. Uh, and in the paper, we have just the general rundown of the movies uh, that are out right now, which is a good mix of Oscar contenders with... Uh, you know, uh, the mechanic and the right, stuff like that. Uh, and the alt dot pop column, which has the greatest boob shot ever. Online, boobs. We also have a uh, mis professional mistress and a swinger mom talking about why husbands stray. We have two Valentine's Day survival guides for singles of the female persuasion. And we also have a story about how the Tampa Bay Storm coach uh, was caught with a video on his computer of two females, a fish, and a funnel. This Week in Food, Brian Reese reviews The Pearl in the Grove all the way up in Dade City. Very worth the trip for down-home cooking. T. Hampton Dorman gives us his tips on frying chicken. And Susan Filson teaches us how to make some super, super bowl fare using one rotisserie chicken. Go to do this this week to find out about the Clearwater Fashion and Arts Festival. It's going to be a really big event with free events going on. It's not going to be one of those VIP hoity-toity affairs. The public can go. And also, Megan Voller has another fashion-oriented piece in her um, arts feature. So um, this one's a little bit more unconventional. You'll like it. Check it out. This week in the paper, we've got an article on the District 5 Tampa City Council race. Now, you know you've been hearing a lot about the mayor's race, but actually District 5 is very interesting because it has the richest and the poorest areas of Tampa. So we look at one of the candidates, Carrie West, who's a white gay man, running up against three other African Americans who basically, uh, black has always represented District 5. So it's an interesting little dynamic that we have there that you can read in the paper. Also, on the blog this week, we've got Pam Iorio, an exclusive, basically saying that she, it's all her fault in terms of the situation with the problem with the Tampa water bills. Uh, that crisis that's been going on, about 500 people or so in Tampa. Hi. Uh, yeah, well, the, I just want to make one uh, distinction. I don't think we're going to rename that movie uh, Scrotum. We're going to rename it Santorum. And all of you Dan Savage fans will know exactly what I mean. I also want to draw your attention this week to a great column by Catherine Durkin Robinson about that book about the Tiger Mother. She likes Tiger Mothering. You'll find out why. And I also want to tell you about next week, February 10th, you got to go to this thing. And I hope I'm holding it right side up. Yes, that's the big debate happening here at Creative Loafing CL Space. This week in music, we have Infinite Groove Orchestra, a funk, jazz, psychedelic rock foursome that's playing the Ella's Folk Americana Cafe on Friday in celebration of their first LP. We also have Pelican Pop Fest this weekend in downtown St. Petersburg, a bunch of local acts playing for real cheap. And we also have the Bob and Tosh tribute at New World Brewery, a bunch of reggae music in tribute to Bob and Tosh. I know, I'm so, I know, I just, I don't know, my face is hot.